Hi, this is a demonstration video for a GE General Electric 09GP103. This is a 9-inch AC and DC TV manufactured in 1990. So this unit will run off of regular plug-in power and off of a cigarette lighter. Um, I'm selling this on eBay and this unit will come with both connections. Let me show you the there's the model number and serial number for reference. Um, you know this TV's been used but primarily with tailgating kind of activities so it hasn't been used a lot so it does so you know some signs of wear you can see the surface and stuff has been scuffed and whatnot but it does work fine and i'll show you it's working. It's an analog only receiver, so you do need to have a, uh, a converter box like this to, you know, watch TV on it. If you want to watch TV from over the air, if you're going to play video games, it should work fine. You should be able to plug in, but the, there's only a single input as well, and that's on the back. That's your standard F connect oops, F connector here. Sorry about the video. But right here. So there's your standard you know cable connection. And that's all there is. It's just one connection here. And then this is your power connector here. Got a special connection, and you take that out. And you can swap that out with either your cigarette lighter for your car, which I have hooked to a 12 volt power supply, just to show you how it works inside. I didn't want to have this out in the car for this video. And then there's a standard plug-in type of connection too for the wall. So it's a dual power unit. There is no remote control with it. Let me turn it on here. There's a power. Care about your quality of life or a loved one. Just give it a try because this So you see the banding is just from the video on the phone being out of sync with the TV scan, right? So it's not actually doing that in real life. Okay. So I'll show you the volume. We need some help. Volume up and down works fine. The channel, it only has the one channel locked in because that's the only one that um, it's scanned when it was initially turned on so but it does have a scan function if you you know had it plugged in uh to find other channels to tune to other channels you can do that as well there are some setup there's some setup menus in here that uh, if you hit setup there's an auto demo if you hit Plus, see if it's going to do it for me. Auto demo. Yeah, see, it'll run through a demonstration of what all the the TV can do. Graphic color. Yeah, see, it's just showing you the adjustments you can make and other different functions of the TV. It's kind of a nice little built-in way to test things out. 
Just showing you the different picture controls and whatnot. So, picture reset, additional features. So, yeah, so it's on screen time and channel. So, yeah, there's a sleep timer. You can set the clock and all that stuff, too. It's set up. So there's a sleep timer. There's an auto programming that will scan your channels for you. There's memory. You can, I guess, memorize different channels. Sleep timer. Some auto programming. Um, and there's video. And those are your, hit the video. That's where you get your adjustment menu. And you can just make adjustments with the plus and minus volume buttons. See, watch. See, I go up and down. Adjust the color. And you hit video again. It goes to the next tint. Contrast. So you can make all these adjustments with your up and down button on vo uh, your volume. And then we'll hit display. That's just going to show you your channel and your time. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You can, I think you can do most of it through the buttons here. I don't have the remote for it, so I can't guarantee you can do all the functions through the front buttons on the TV itself, but um, it's still a relatively simple TV. So it should be fine. But anyway, this unit right now is operating off of that 12 volt power supply through this guy. Okay, now I'm going to show you that it works on 110 power as well. So I'm going to turn this power off. Okay, and then it's got a special connector on the back here. See? It's got these four pins. So I'm going to switch over to the plug. So this plug goes right to the wall. It's got the same connector on it, those four pins. Okay. And then it just plugs in right there. Pretty straightforward. So now we're on wall power. Hit the power button here. Yeah, this thing collects it. it's just it's dusty. I already cleaned it, but it attracts dust for some reason. All right, so now it's working on that. Put your channel up down. Of course, that's still only tuned to four, which is what this converter box is tuned to. So it's only going to see that one channel. Otherwise, if it auto-tuned to other channels it would it would go up and down but so everything is working on this it's a real neat little tv for tailgating or maybe camping if you wanted to play video games on it and that sort of thing and of course watch tv if you have one of these digital to analog converter boxes um, you can do that too but this will not receive from an antenna because all the current signals over antennas are for TV or digital and this is only an analog TV it will not convert which is why you need that RCA converter box with a that's connected to an antenna and of course the output of this is coming through here and into the back of the TV, like I showed you earlier, into this one here. So, anyway, so yeah, this TV works great. I'll have it for sale on eBay shortly. 
and thank you for watching.